Welcome to Lucas Brews. In today's video, I will build the Plastic Soldier Company's Panzer 38T and the Marta variants. This set includes the parts to build three tanks as either the Panzer 38T, Marta 3 Alsfrong H, or the Marta 139. The set also includes some crew figures for the various tanks, which is a nice touch. Assembly of the kits is really easy and simple since the models are primarily aimed at war gamers. The tracks, for example, are a single molded piece, which reduces detail and depth, but they have still done a brilliant job. The upper hull and lower hull comes as two pieces, and the engine deck and turret rings are added on. The 38T looks good overall, even despite its simple construction. The details may be simplified a tiny bit, but it still has some nice ones. The gun also can elevate and depress slightly. For the Marta 139, I made a slight adjustment by cutting out the floor on a piece where it wouldn't have existed, not that it was very visible. I found that the shells and ammunition moulded into the frame was a nice touch. The gun for the Marta 139 can also fully traverse and elevate and depress, which I think is a nice feature. Finally came the Marta 3, which had a nicely moulded frame over the engine deck, presumably to catch spent shells. The large Pack 40 was moulded in one piece with the superstructure built around it. No traverse or elevation sadly for the Marta, though the details are still quite nice. As you can see on all of the models, the details are a tiny bit simplified, but with a small amount of touching up, they could certainly be made more realistically. Finally, it was time to do the painting. I painted the Panzer 38T and Marta 139 in Tamiya XF63 German Grey, using black later on for the rubber wheels, flat aluminium for the tracks, and Titan Gold for the exhausts. I do three coats of the slightly thinned German Grey on the whole tank, and then paint the finer details later on. Flat aluminium was used on the sprockets and idler wheel to give them a tiny bit of weathering, as well as on the tracks. It was also painted with a fine brush on the machine guns. After the tracks were painted, I also used flat black for the rubber on the tires. This was a bit of a tricky step because the tracks and wheels are molded together. The kit sadly doesn't include any decals, so I had to use a combination of spare ones and custom printed ones using decal paper and a laser printer. The custom decals are alright, though I had to paint around them later with a fine brush to get the background colour correct, which required a fine hand, but also added to the weathering, so swings and roundabouts. As for the Marta 3, I painted it in a late war camo skin, using three coats of Tamiya buff as a base. I find buff to be the closest to me a colour to the Dunkel Gale used by Germany late in the war and in Africa. As you can see more clearly on the Marta 3, painting the black rubber on the tyres was a bit of a tricky step. I had to do a tiny bit of neatening up off camera to get them to look right. Next, I painted the tracks once again flat aluminium and also the machine guns. Next, I applied the decals. I mismatched the background colours so they came out more blue than buff, so once again I had to paint very closely around the decals with a fine brush. After neatening up the details, I painted finer stuff like the seats for the 139's crew and the ammunition boxes. I decided to leave parts of my tanks unglued so that I could switch which variants they were, mainly for stop motions and different displays. Off screen I also built the other three sections, so that at any time I could have three Marta 139s, three Marta 3s, or three Panzer 38Ts. Now comes the thumb part. For the Marta 3, I decided to use two coats, a single coat of flat green for the first layer, and a red brown for the second layer, and apply it in a camouflage pattern. I applied the pattern in lines that break away from each other, a bit like tree branches carefully using strokes and taking care not to paint over the decals unless I wanted to achieve a chipped or weathered look. Once the Marta 3 was properly dry, I began the weathering process. I used flat aluminium and dry brushed it and stippled it over the surface of the model to produce the effect of chipped, exposed metal. I also painted metal parts of the tools with a fine brush. When it comes to chipping, most of the time, tanks would get chipped on the surfaces of armour that are exposed to being hit by stuff such as tree branches, bricks, buildings, or the crew walking over it. I also heavily weathered the crew compartments of the Marta 139 and Marta 3, since the crew would be walking around scuffing it and also throwing shells about. The areas around the engine deck would also get a lot of weathering because
members of crews doing work. I also painted flat brown on the wooden parts of the tools and jigs that are attached to the sides of the tanks. Next, I applied a wash all over the models using wooded down to mere flat black. This not only unifies the surface and slightly darkens the colour, but also brings out details and creates a slightly weathered look. I try to make the black heavier on the tracks, machine gun and engine deck where exhaust stains, gun smoke, oil and the environment would have the greatest impact in terms of weather. To make the effect stronger, I simply add a little bit more pigment and use less wood. I also painted the gun barrel and exhaust black and then wiped them slightly to create a much stronger look. For the Marta 3 and 139, I painted the gun breech black. The vision ports on all of the tanks were also painted black to create a shadow effect. The last step is to paint a heavy wash of flat earth onto the wheels, tracks and the fighting compartments to add the effect of dried dirt and make the tanks more weathered. I also applied a little bit of the wash to the undersides of the hull. And with the final weathering done, the models were completed. I certainly had a lot of fun and enjoyed building these kits. They go together super quick and easy and look very good. I certainly would recommend them for beginners and more gamers, which they are primarily aimed at. Anyone who wants a Panzer 38T or Marta variant that's included in this kit for 170 second scale, I would also recommend it. It's not easy to come by these tanks with other manufacturers, especially in this scale. I'm certainly looking forward to using these tanks in future stop motions. Thank you very much for watching and supporting Lucas Bruce. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, like or leave a comment. We'll be releasing the first part of the bridge very soon and launching our Patreon page this month, so stay tuned for that. Take care and model on.